I put so much effort into trying to protect my family because no matter how hard you try, they're With apple cider vinegar, that didn't help. I'm taking my vitamins. I have literally a whole pack of water here. <sighs> my heater is still going because I am freezing. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another vlog. Um, where do I even begin? So, for those of you who did notice, um, I've been MIA in terms of Vlogmas. I vlog like every single day. Yeah, so... Today I tested COVID positive. I guess I haven't really said that out loud ever since. Let me run through exactly what happened. This vlog took a turn for the worse. Lashes are wet. It's because I was crying. <sighs> My sister tested positive for COVID. I'm starting to feel symptomatic because I was with her for all day today. <sighs> This is really frustrating because it was my first week of orientation. Mine is insane already. Um, in terms of my symptoms, my fever's down. I don't really have chills. I have like a slight cough, intermittent cough. It's not constant like where I'm hacking away. I think my body's like really trying to fight it off. But right now I'm in line for one of the tests. I'm still just like so in awe right now. So even though I have like a bunch of phlegm in my throat, um, I literally get tested like every two weeks and if you watch my vlogs you know that I get tested so periodically and then on top of that every time I'm at work I change into these scrubs I shower the minute I get home and I just feel like every effort that I put towards trying to keep my family and me safe was just fucking gone they could travel to Vegas and Hawaii you don't think this will happen to you until it does. It could be literally in your backyard because that's exactly where I got it from. This is how I have to like move out. This isn't how I would want it. it happens. And it can, you can get it from anywhere. You can get it from your family members. You can get it from going to the grocery store. But it's frustrating, you know? Like, I, I put so much effort into trying to protect my family because I know I'm like this close to COVID patients every day, all day. First is what I'm gonna swap, and then your nose. Okay. okay. Go ahead and remove your mask. Say, open your mouth, say, ah, uh, uh, you're good. Light in your nose. It's gonna feel like I went too far, but that's where I gotta go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. Okay, results will be there in three to five days. Okay. And so just watch out for that. If it's a positive, a live person will contact. Okay. okay. Thank you. Do you need Oh, no, it's okay. okay. Thank you. That leg is nice. I have never done the nasopharyngeal test. So Saturday, I had a possible exposure, um, so my sister and I were in a car together and we were driving to get my grandparents, um, like corner bakery or something, and she was coughing. So, you know, like being like the person that I am, I put my mask on and I just presumed it was a flu. So Sunday goes by, I go to work, um, I didn't really feel any different. Um, I may have had a fever, um, but other than that, I was just really, really tired. Um, you can probably see that vlog because I did, that was the last video that I had posted. After my work, I worked from 8 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. I had been, um, you know, like, gross, so I showered at night. <clears throat> so that night I showered around, like, 9 p.m., which is pretty normal for me. Um, showered, went to sleep. Woke up the next morning on Monday, and I had a sore throat. Didn't really think much of it. Thought that, you know, like, I've always had, like, a scratchy feeling after I, like, I know I'm not supposed to, like, shower and then go to sleep without blow-drying my hair, but that's what I did. And I do it a lot, which is bad. Don't do that. <laughs> um, my voice is getting a little bit scratchy, so forgive me for that. When she figured out she was positive on Monday, all the clinics were closed already. So, Tuesday woke up, I had a cough, it's a dry cough, a lot of phlegm in my throat, and I knew, like, even before I got tested, I knew I was already positive. 
um, the really mild symptoms. I think I think Tuesday were was probably my worst symptoms where I like could feel myself wheezing, but I just like prone myself. You don't know what prone is when you lie on your stomach, and that helps a lot with your breathing. Um, and then my fever like spiked to like 103, and then I was getting like really hot and really cold. So this was on Tuesday. So today it is Wednesday, December 16th. I am um, right now like what I've been doing in terms of treatment. I've been like taking like 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C, taking these multivitamins. Um, I've been loading up on fluids. I have like coconut water um, to help with electrolytes. Um, I've been isolating in my room and I right now today this is technically I started some, being symptomatic on Monday so what is this three days three days I've been symptomatic um the point of this video is you never know who you might get it from and it sucks because I'm very vigilant at work I've gotten tested this many times and I've been negative every single time I hang out with my friends, whenever I go out. I'm always getting tested because it's important to get tested. Even you could, like right now I'm like asymptomatic. I can walk around and I'd be okay. But, and I look fine. And that's the thing. I can walk around, go to work, and go about my day. And you wouldn't really think much of it. Because I hardly cough. My voice is a little bit raspy, but I function like a normal person. So... The point is, a lot of people think that this virus is, like, you're invincible. And the reality is, the reason why she got it, my sister, and it's it sucks that I didn't even get it at work, but it sucks because that person that she had been hanging out with was one of those anti-mask, anti-pandemic, thinks it's a scamdemic. And I don't know why that wouldn't be a red flag. And the reason why she got it was by hanging out with her at her house. Let me push this back a little bit. And I've obviously, like you've seen my vlogs that I've done it. But I'm obviously not going to even try anymore. Because this is a real thing. And although I'm not necessarily super symptomatic right now, I don't know where it's going to go from here. A lot of people, like my cousin recently got it and she was having chest pains. Um, I've had a lot of young people come in and they have to be admitted because they can't breathe and I'm lucky that my past medical history is the only thing that I've ever really had was asthma when I was a kid which is probably why I started wheezing but it's not something that I can't um, deal with at home deal with at home um, I think I've gotten past the fact that I'm in shock and angry and just a lot of things go through your head um, I think it was the most disappointing because for once I did one work and now I can't because I am somewhat symptomatic still. And obviously this is like my brand new job. This is like my career that was supposed to... Everyone's just trying to isolate right now because we don't really know where it's going to go from here and because there's no necessary treatment per se, we're hoping that this just blows over. Um, I want to say that... Everyone thinks that this is fake. I'm not even gonna lie, I thought that maybe because I was a nurse, I would be like immune to it. And obviously not because you can hear it in my voice. A lot of young people think that they're invincible. I'm 23 years old and I still have the virus. There's no way that like the virus can't get to you. And if God forbid you're gonna try and hang out with your family, I don't recommend it if this virus I didn't get it from going out I got it within my household so you never know where the hell you're gonna get it from and I want people to be vigilant and be smart about what they're doing right now because I know that even though it's not necessarily affecting you it can be in your backyard I remember Alex's cousins first getting it then my cousins getting it and I was like next thing you know I'm gonna get it and that's exactly what happened and it sucks, it really fucking sucks, but that's just the reality of it. And there's like a lot of ways, 
I could tell you that there's a lot of ways to prevent it by constantly getting tested, by keeping your distance. It just sucks because the reality is like I got it from within my home. When I'm at home, I thought it was a safe place and I could let my guard down and I wouldn't necessarily need to wear, need to, you know. Um, I will keep you posted. I don't know if anybody really gives a shit, but I hope that this is um, a reminder to a lot of you who are still going out and want to enjoy yourselves um, to just be vigilant because this virus is encroaching on everybody's families and I have a lot of sick family members right now who have it even though it doesn't show like I'm sick I can still feel it and I don't know what my symptoms will be in the next few days and I want people to realize that this virus is still here and Maybe I haven't been the best example in showing that I go out and do things, but I, that's like it. I'm not, I'm over it, I can't. And the thing is, with this virus, it's more than just about you. It's not your health per se, but it's everyone who's around you. So had we all taken the precautions and getting tested and keeping six feet distance and hanging out outdoors, this wouldn't have happened and even though I took precautions in this um it still got to me and that's the reality of it is the fact that this virus can really affect anybody and do you really want this fucking virus to ruin your Christmas like a lot of people are saying that in 2021 it'll get better but it does, it's not looking any better right now. We have high hopes of the vaccine, but the vaccine's not rolling out fast enough. I was supposed to be in phase one of the vaccine, but obviously I can't get it anymore because I'm positive. So yeah, this sucks. Um, I was really mad and crying earlier, but now I'm just, all I can do is hope to get better, to go back to my job, to prevent any further spread, um, especially in my family, there are seven people who live in this house and some of them are really old. Um, right now you just need to be vigilant of what's going on. So, yeah. I'll keep you all posted. Um, yeah, I don't know how to end this. <laughs>